everyone, Matt here with Amped Outdoors. Today, we're gonna show you how to connect batteries in series to achieve higher voltage. So there's two different ways you can connect batteries. One's in parallel, and that's connecting red to red, black to black. And what parallel does will increase your capacity, but it'll keep the same voltage. In a 24 or a 36 or even 48 volt system, you have to wire 12 volt batteries in series to achieve higher voltage. When you connect in series, you're increasing voltage, but you're keeping the same capacity as your batteries are listed. So when you connect batteries in series, uh, same with parallel, I always recommend keeping the same capacity in all of your batteries. It's very important for equalization as well as the performance of your system. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna show you are the two batteries that we have here. This will make a 24 volt system. These are two 12 volt batteries. We have a bank charger and that will allow you to charge each battery individually in the system. We have our connection here, which in this case would be, uh, we'll say it's a trolling motor. And then we have an interlink cable up front that is going to connect the two batteries together in series. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you how to do it and then we're gonna go ahead and do that connection. So on the batteries to connect them in series, you're connecting the black negative from one to the red positive of another battery. And then you're gonna connect your source from the positive of the first battery in the system to the negative of the last battery in your system. So that will give you a 24 volt system in this case, or if you added a third battery, that would be a 36 volt system. Now each battery must charge individually with its own 12 volt source in this bank. So you'll connect the charger bank to each battery. So to do this, first thing I'm gonna do is start off from my left, your right, and go over. So I'm gonna have the bolt, the lock washer, which stated in other videos, very important, our standard washer. I'm gonna take the positive from my series, going to the trolling motor, and I'm gonna take, take one of my charging bank positives and connect that to this first battery. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my interlink cable connect it to the negative of this battery using the same washer system here. The negative there, take my charger for this battery, negative, connect that to this battery. I'm just gonna hand tighten these at first, then I'm gonna apply dielectric grease and tighten them at the end. So going from the negative here to the positive there. I take my second bank charger positive and connect this, this battery. And then the last connection, the charger negative and in this application, my trolling motor negative. And when doing this, it should always say that trolling motor connection, always the closest to the battery. The last thing you install to that bolt before you put it in, because it's gonna be drawing the most power, path of least resistant, it should be closest to the battery. Actually did not do that correctly, not the first one. For the sake of time, hand tighten those. We use our dielectric grease, again, ply this evenly across the connection. And then what I'll do is I will take a wrench and tighten these down. Make sure my dielectric grease is over the connection. You don't have to put a lot on, just enough to cover it that'll whisk away any moisture or water that you have on the connection, giving you a troublesome, worry-free connection for, for a very long time. Check your connections on a regular basis with vibration and impact within boat or RV or whatever you're connecting these to. They can come loose. It's good to maintain a good solid connection in all your batteries, make sure they're corrosion free and uh, double check all your wiring as well to make sure that it's, they're free of any type of fray and uh, everything's in good working shape. So once you have them all connected together, you're essentially ready to go. Charge your batteries up 100% 
it's important that when you're running batteries in parallel and series that your batteries are all equalized so by putting a full charge on them that will ensure that they're discharging evenly uh, across your series here so if you have any questions on how to set this up in series feel free to reach out to us sales at ampedoutdoors.com uh, like us on all the social media pages facebook uh, and also like our videos on youtube as uh, we'll be providing a lot of uh, videos over time uh, helping you really maintain your products and show you how to connect everything properly. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it.